Hey everybody, Last Outrider back, talking about warp creatures in part 15 of What is Rogue Trader? Uh, 17. It has already been mentioned that the creatures known as enslavers actually live in warp space. Enslavers are not alone in this, and many other creatures appear to have their natural homes in warp space. Some creatures seem comfortable on either side of space or have limited abilities to transcend both. Did you get that? So warp space, they're just alien creatures at this point. And some of them can live comfortably on both sides, even with the ability to transport themselves back and forth. Yes, no demons yet. The linking factor between the two sorts of realities seems to be psychic. The creatures of warp space are closely associated with psychic power. Many of them actually feed on psychic energy, or the natural living energy of living creatures, or are drawn to feed by emissions of such energy. All of these creatures are a threat to the races of the galaxy, but especially to humans. Humans are not a developed psychic race. The Slan and Eldar are more likely to have psychic powers. However, humanity is undergoing a serious evolutionary change into a far more psychically capable race. And so, the incidence of these powers is becoming increasingly common. To date, humans lack the ability to properly control their powers. Okay, so as a first edition, all psychers are inherently unstable. There is no controlled psyker in humanity in first edition 40k. <clears throat> Let's see. This causes, well, I'm sorry, to, uh, da, 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 especially as they are first developed in early adulthood. This causes profound localized psychic disturbances, far greater than anything associated with a fully mature human psyker or any psychic alien. You got it? So basically, young developing humans are amongst the most powerful psychers in the galaxy. However, they also have no control over what they're doing. It said it right there that uh, they, are, they are far more powerful than a fully matured human psyker or any psychic alien. These disturbances attract psychically attuned warp creatures like moths to a candle. Except that these moths are often deadly carnivores, soul feeders, and highly dangerous. Using the psychic link established by the emergent psyker, many aliens are able to open up temporary warp portals and push their way into real universe. Others are simply drawn against their will, but still cause problems once they are in real space. Yes, it's true. That's, that is all we know about the warp at that time. Um, so, for all the people who like chaos and think that that is lore or canon in 40K, <laughs> The truth is, Chaos was not in 1st edition 40k. And that's something to think about. Until next time, bye. <laughs>